the average person has to realize what I started to say very vigorously last summer, and I was, of course, resoundingly mocked for this, this isn't going to blow over. We're either going to push it out of power or it's not going to get out. It's going to continue. We, 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 there is no letting it blow over. It's not going to blow over. It, so you have to decide what you want to do with that. Not everybody is going to be the person who stands up and speaks at their their school board. But you can be the person who makes that person dinner. You know, not everybody is going to be the face. Not everybody's going to take the risk. But you can be the person who offers moral support, who, you know, creates that network. But the most important thing then for people to realize is and this is a lesson that I learned watching people stand up to absurd COVID policy is that courage begets courage and cowardice begets cowardice. It's a two sided street or two sided coin. When you see, uh, so there's this video, it went around, I don't know if I could find it again easily on Twitter, and I think it was in Canada, but maybe it wasn't, there's a bakery or a shop or something, and you know, the health inspector comes in, and, or whatever, the COVID cops come in, and they're hassling them, and finally this one guy says, you're trespassing, you need to go, and everybody was kind of cowering, and then the second one guy spoke up, the whole crowd starts yelling, mm-hmm. you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go, and they ended up, you know, leaving, and it was, it's the most blatant demonstration I've ever seen that some, nobody's speaking up. Everybody kind of shied. Everybody's getting kind of bullied around. The second one person spoke up, a crowd erupted. And that's one other thing. If you're afraid to be the person who's going to inspire the courage that begets courage, I jumped off a cliff, man. You jumped off a cliff. We didn't know where we were going to land. Right now, if you jump off the edge, it's not a cliff. It's a stage, and there are hands ready to carry you. Yes. Right. And people need to understand yes. that the ground swell against critical race theory. It's tr- the biggest trend on Twitter right now, as we were just saying a minute ago, as the time of the taping. It's huge. It is a hot issue. It's 85, 95 percent, depending on where you are, red or blue issue for most people in most jurisdictions right now of get this crap out of our schools. So the you have every reason in the world to be courageous and your courageous is going to be infect- infectious. On the other hand, if you're a coward, other people see your cowardice. And either somebody's going to step up and be courageous instead of you and you get no you, – you did nothing respectable or it's just going to encourage more people to stay silent, more people to keep their head down, more people to hope, oh, maybe it will blow over and I don't have to take a risk. Um, but that's not what's going to happen. It's either going to get pushed out or it's, it's going to kill us. If you're looking for more honest and thoughtful conversations about academia instead of nonstop yelling, check out our academia playlist. And if you want to watch full interviews on a variety of topics, check out our full episode playlist. They're all right over here. And to get notified of all future videos, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell.